This is all the other stuff I got to carry. Stolen shopping carts have long been used as a makeshift storage unit on wheels for people living on the streets of Modesto. It is something to use to carry your blankets and pillows and your clothing. I got about two pair of pants in there. One's dirty. I just took off. I wore a month. This man, who didn't want us to use his real name, says he's been using abandoned shopping carts he found in an alley nearby to tote around his few belongings after his trailer was stolen about a month ago. If these are come by and ask for them, I'm going to give them to them. And like always, and you know what? I'm going to be stuck holding a bunch of stuff that I can't do nothing with. But Modesto police say, according to the city's municipal code, it is illegal to be in possession of a shopping cart that has been removed from the business it belongs to. As part of an operation launched on Wednesday, people that have them will be issued a citation and the shopping cart will be seized. The city is asking locals to report abandoned carts through the city's app. I think it's a great idea. The merchants have money invested in those shopping carts. They're not people's personal property. They belong to that business. When people fill them up with garbage, whatever they they have in them, and then they abandon them, that leaves that mess for somebody else. It's not their responsibility. William Stewart lives near a park, and he says nearly a dozen carts have shown up on his property in the last year. Well, I've had them abandoned by our mailboxes. I've had them abandoned in the middle of the street. I've had them full of garbage on my street. I've had to move them out from my driveway to get out of my driveway. Other people affected by homelessness like Tim Diggins have been able to avoid citations by using a bike and mini cart attached to it instead of a shopping cart. And I know people need stuff like that, but shopping carts are not the way. 